Assalamu alaikum dear audience this is Sanobar Sultan and here you are watching another video on Sanobar's world so um today the topic of our discussion is a little bit um you know scary to say the least because it deals with somebody who is the most famous satan worshipper in the world and he has many fans uh especially in the music industry for example beatles and led zeppelin among others uh his name is uh, alister crowley who uh, you know was born in 1875 and died in 1947 and he is the most famous practitioner of uh, magic and at one time the tabloids in england labeled him the wickedest man in the world so um he even founded his own religion and he claimed himself to be a prophet of satan worshipers um to give a bit of a, a background he came from a privileged background and uh, was a highly well read man he combined the practice of uh, the dark arts or magic and uh, combined it with sexuality to create an even darker magic and he was willing to take any travels that were necessary for his um for his uh, you know travels for his satanic worship he was a very well traveled man he enjoyed climbing he even climbed the k2 mountain he traveled in the desert through the middle east um traveled in the subcontinent china egypt north africa among other places and uh, he was well versed with latin greek literature arabic and even islamic literature he called himself so this is him calling himself a satan worshipper he called himself quote the beast 666 unquote and his readings on islam can be seen with his poetry book titled quote the scented garden of abdullah the satirist unquote and during magical practices he would even read quranic verses and in his writings because he has written his satanic practices and his um founding of his uh, religion based on satanism so he has even uh, in his writings written for example quote i tasted the bliss of allah unquote this was a man who was hungry for any information he could find on black magic and uh, read books such as quote book of black magic and of pacts unquote quote kabala unveiled unquote and joined underground magical society of hermetic order of the golden dawn uh in england now his most famous magical expedition began when he recruited victor newberg who was um, deeply um interested in uh, about magic and considered crowley to be his guru crowley made newberg undergo any form of physical or mental abuse because a newberg considered crowley, uh, crowley to be his uh, master and uh, that he would fulfill any command of his idol he would make him perform rituals which upon reading you would find extremely disturbing now the expeditions of uh, crowley in the desert in north africa have been written by crowley himself or newberg who would act as a scribe to um to crowley for example in his travels to this desert he would perform a specific few magical words or a call to invite the demons who would come to speak to him 
and they, it is as if there is this um, opening of a realm between this physical world and the demonic world. The last demonic trip made by the duo was to a desert of Busada, now in present day Algeria, where a powerful demon would ask him to perform demonic uh, rituals for, such as um, when he would open the gate of the demons, they would appear to him and these rituals would include, for example, drawing triangles around themselves, writing sacred names of God, sacrificing pigeons and performing sexual acts within the triangle. This is only a gist of how, um, to what length you can go to appease Satan. And it is considered to be a real knowledge and he, he considered it to be stages of Satanism. And he considered himself to be at, um, at the top of the ladder in Satanism. Lastly, I would say this is not, um, this knowledge is uh, found in all religious beliefs and it is practiced globally. There are sorcerers who are public sorcerers, be they in Europe, um, be they in South Asia and um, elsewhere. Um, so lastly, I would just add to it, just to sort of uh, round this up is that in all religious texts being knowledgeable does not equate to being knowledgeable for good and that is where the concept of good and evil god and satan can be found in all texts throughout time one has to be careful to not be lured by false prophets simply because they have more tricks up their sleeve to turn people into blindly worshipping them. So um, thank you very much dear audience. I hope this video added to your knowledge. Um, so I shall see you all very soon and do watch my other videos on Sinopo's world. Take care. Bye-bye.